everybody, welcome back to the Harmonica Barge. I've got a nice little tune for you today. It's a bluegrass old time tune, very popular amongst American folk musicians and us Brits that play American music. Uh, it's called Cripple Creek and um, some famous, famous versions by banjo players, fiddle players. I think Charlie McCoy's done a few versions on the harmonica, done by many people, jam bands, country bands. Uh, they can play it pretty quick eventually but we're gonna we're gonna slow it down and I'm gonna teach you the melody as usual there's the option of the in-depth lesson this is for much more evolved techniques how to incorporate tongue block in chords so you can play melody and chords at the same time if you're interested in that do uh, click the link below but to get to the tune I'm playing a C harmonica so key of G so in the cross harp style, I'm sure some people would play this in the straight harp style as well, but I learnt it in the cross harp style, so let's let's do it this way. Starting on the sixth blow, and it's two six blows. Take that as the first phrase. Six, six, five, four, three. Now, if you can resist using the tab. Of course I would recommend that, trying to do it by ear, the joy of YouTube, you can just simply rewind me uh, and go back and go back. You don't have to do it with the record anymore, like musicians used to do it. That's how my dad learned to play harmonica, um, probably. I'm not sure if that's true. He does play harmonica. I don't, I don't know if he learned that way. <laughs> so... That's the first phrase, okay. That's the second phrase. Why learn to play it by ear if you've got the tabs there, you might say. Good point. Well, the more you do that, the faster you get at picking tunes up by ear. And that's why some musicians can seemingly, when they go to a session or they're playing with other musicians, they can just play the melody very quickly. They hear a melody, they can play it. Why is that? Is it because they were born with some innate ability to or perfect pitch, or are they super musical? I would say in most cases, no, it's just because they've learned lots and lots of melodies and worked the melodies out themselves. And I think the importance of melody as well in this, you know, this folk harmonica tradition for me, when I listen to a lot of the old players, like the greats, you know, like Sonny Terry and Dee Ford Bailey and these kind of people, often in their pieces, they're playing melodies. Now they embellish the melodies in all kinds of cool ways by adding licks and riffs and this, that and the other. But to me, when I listen, the melody is still the central thing, uh, despite the virtuosity. Um, you know, the melody is kind of the, the skeleton of the piece that's holding everything together, like the blueprint of a piece. So I think melody is, is very, very important. OK, so that's the A section. I'll just play that one more time. Of course, you've got that three double step bend. Check out my other video uh, on how to help you with that. That's going to be a bit of a challenge. Even if you could do it and miss that bend out, you could even, a little trick, if you wanted to play the tune, often works to substitute a one draw for that bend. Okay, doesn't sound great. But it would do, you know, it would it would do for now. Okay, onto the B section. So we've got three draws, which is actually a little segment of the A section, as is, you know, these old tiny tunes, lots of repetition. No problem with the second line, and the first line happens again. Oh, switch hands. Let's do it properly. Now you might want to, when you play those faster notes, you can actually get that fast this tune if you're playing with certain fiddle players. And then I go, ah, oh, I'm out of the session. You could do this tonguing thing. It's kind of cool as well because It 
it's sort of what fiddle players do, you know, before a tune. They go... So you're kind of emulating that, which is cool. So that's the B section. So you've got you've got two sections there. Um, and just to bear in mind, you know, with these folk tunes, if you hear every harmonica player will have their own version. Some will play it different. Same as fiddle players. They've often got little way. They were taught it by someone else who knew a different version. And uh, then people come together and it's nice because they've got different versions and you can adapt and take a bit of someone else's and try and, try and meet in the middle. So... What's really cool with this tune for me is I, I do this as a as a solo piece, is to then start to incorporate slaps and octaves and Hey, let's try it with some bones. Never done that before. Need to practice my bow. Yeah, I kind of like that. I might try that some more. So, thanks everybody. Hope you have fun with that. Uh, check out my in-depth lesson if you want this in more detail with tabs and full rhythm. Uh, and everything else for you to adapt this and use it and put it in a solo piece. So do subscribe, like, comment on the videos and uh, I'll see you for another video very soon. Thanks, goodbye. <laughs>